welcome to imperial cat system in this video we see how to make sketch fully constrained in uni graphics go to sketch select plane ok then here we have sketcher commands like profile rectangle line or circle like that you can scroll this uh, to see more number of commands uh, here we have dimensioning you can give linear dimension angular dimension whatever here we have geometrical constraints uh, from this we can we can give geometrical constraints like coincidence parallel perpendicular point on curve tangency horizontal vertical like this we can apply geometrical constraints for dimensional constraints select rapid dimension we have shortcuts here if you enter D then rapid dimension option will be selected if you enter C geometrical constraints uh, options will be selected I take one simple drawing And when you draw a sketch in uni graphics, auto dimensions uh, will be applied. You can see this auto dimensions, but you can move the sketch. This is not a permanent dimension. To give permanent dimension, you have to make this sketch fully constrained. See here, here it will show the status. The color will not change when you uh, when the sketch is in under constraint over constraint uh, iso constraint here you can see the sketch is uh, fully constrained with six auto dimension of course the sketch is a uh, uh, given dimension but these are all auto dimension you have to make this uh, you have to give a permanent dimension then go for rapid dimension or d see here we can see uh, 111.2 auto dimension when i apply permanent dimension to that line then you can't see auto dimension for that the dimension where you can see in dark blue color and you can give dimension value like this now only five auto dimensions remaining previously it was a six auto dimension then I go again D select this line I give total height enter height I give 100 like this or else you can double click auto dimension also you can make that you can convert that into permanent dimension see friends here we have 56.2 auto dimension we have four auto dimensions double click that one enter value then that is fixed to 50 you c it, it can't go beyond 50 mm it can't go beyond 100 mm because we have constrained this sketch now remaining three auto dimension here we can see one dimension and with respect to axis two dimensions then this manipulates now now convert this uh, either you can go for uh, a D or double click on that I enter 50 now sketch status it shows two auto dimensioning that means the sketch is uh, given all the dimensions whatever we require for that sketch but still it is moving you have to arrest this you have to constrain this movement also for that you have to give dimension with respect to axis then you can either double click this and you can you can give some value if you make zero then that is coincided with axis see friends sketch is fully constrained we can also give geometrical constraints see I go back control Z control Z now here we have two auto dimension I want to instead of making this uh, dimension value zero I want to coincide with respect to axis then go for geometrical constraint in more you can see geometrical constraint or you just enter C 
in this we have to select collinear then select this axis select this axis select this axis select this axis so we have to use both dimensional and geometrical constraint to make the sketch fully constrained here you can see the status sketch is fully constrained like that we have to apply see uh, line I have taken at some angle see I want to make this line horizontal then in that case we have to depend upon geometrical constraints enter C horizontal select that and select that line yes. a circle I want to make tangent to this line and to this line then first give a value to that circle double click 30 dia then go for C tangent C select this circle select this circle select this circle and select this circle like this uh, to constrain a sketch we have to apply both dimensional and geometrical constraints in unigraphics you can go for a D for a dimensional constraints you can go for a C for a uh, geometrical constraints and here it shows the sketch will not uh, change color when it is uh, fully constrained like in Katia uh, it shows here status three auto dimensions three auto the sketch the status should be shown like a sketch is fully constrained I delete this sketch is fully constrained like that if you give again a dimension then the dimension representing in red color that shows the sketch is over constrained see if it shows over constraints then it shows in red color you have to right click and delete the sketch is fully constrained if you delete constraint dimension then the auto dimensioning if auto dimensioning is represented then the sketch is under constraint so that you can move double click 120 then the sketch is fully constrained thank you for watching this video for more videos you can subscribe to our channel